Did you know that there are multiple ways to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number? Last lesson, we learned that an improper fraction can be defined as a fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator, or a fraction where you can form a number that is greater than one. For example, let's take a look at the improper fraction six-fifths. If we look at six-fifths, we know that our denominator tells us how many equal parts our whole has been partitioned or divided into. Since our denominator is five, that means that our whole has been partitioned or divided into five equal parts. However, if we look at our numerator, we will notice that we have more fractional parts that are needed to complete one whole. We only need five-fifths or five fractional parts to complete one whole, and we have a total of six fractional parts, which leaves us with an additional fifth. So I can simply represent the additional fifth as a fraction next to our whole. Six fifths is the same as one whole and one fifth. A different way to convert a mixed number into a fraction is by dividing the numerator of the fraction by its denominator. The reason why we're dividing is because we want to see how many groups of five we can form from this fraction since we know that we need five fifths to complete a whole. Six divided by five is one with a remainder of one. We can form one whole, which represents the five fifths needed to complete a whole, which leaves us with a remainder of one, which represents the fractional part of one fifth. Six-fifths is equal to one whole and one-fifth.